We're almost there. What were you dreaming about? Films? Me too. <laughs> well, not now I'm driving, but you know, when I'm, when I'm asleep, yeah. Did you ever see the good, the bad, and the ugly? That era of spaghetti westerns solidified our favorite character archetype, the anti-hero. But spaghetti westerns is an insult term, not a compliment. Cheap, dirty Italian westerns are like the superior American productions. This wasn't clear-cut good versus evil. This was ambivalence. Morally bankrupt, but funny scoundrels dipping in and out of civil war, chasing gold, blowing up bridges, and living their days like they were gonna fucking respawn. I've met African children with no electricity who know the soundtrack, and the director didn't even speak English. Everyone expected so, so little, and yet they made the most iconic film ever made, with the most wonderful climax since your mother gave birth to you. Come and see. Told from the perspective of a prepubescent boy, we witnessed the evisceration of humanity by the Nazi regime. Ambition and love, genocide and cannibalism, beautiful as it is harrowing, horrifying as it is engaging, but entirely unforgettable. I asked Bobby to watch it, and he said, let's talk when I finish picking my brains up off the floor. The shooting style was one that focused intensely on the faces of the characters, at times feeling like a collage of bone-chilling paintings. One second put a big fat smile on my face that still hasn't left. A man, ostracized from his family, travels across China's northern desert to deliver a missing reel of film before a screening. His daughter features in that film for one second, and he'll go to any length just to see her again, even if just for the blink of an eye. This film puts a spotlight on how meaningful art is to so many. It dives into beautiful technicalities that you would otherwise never see. You get a sense for how celluloid feels, how it smells, the heat of the projection room, the precision of cutting a reel and gluing it back together. Mandy is not a film, it's something else entirely. It's an experience. While everyone's playing baseball, Mandy is playing highlight. And what the fuck is highlight? It's off the wall with every creative decision fueled by novelty. It's psychedelic, cathartic, tastefully disgusting, and unlike anything you've ever seen out there. Cage's films that followed desperately claw for that Mandy special source, but alas, it does not seem to be replicatable. When I first heard of Punishment Park, I couldn't find it anywhere. I eventually found a 480p upload on YouTube by a user eloquently named Retard Fuckhead. Punishment Park is a fictional, fly-on-the-wall documentary depicting a dystopian, fascist United States of America. Anyone who speaks out against the government is given the opportunity to go to jail or spend three days in Punishment Park, a stretch of the Californian desert where prisoners must get across as soon as possible lest they be gunned down by pursuing police officers in training. Rather chilling. However, you must consider that this was made in 1971, pre-internet. Not a single person had accidentally stumbled across Japanese tentacle porn online. People were not desensitized monsters. This film was utterly earth-shattering, and if you didn't know any better, you might very well believed it was real. When I think classical cinema, I think Ridley Scott. Ridley Diddley creates epic but grounded, visually magnanimous but believable. He's a master of turn, courageous with pace, and in my opinion, his best work is Gladiator. You can't really find any more perfect of a screenplay structure. Some of the most iconic lines in filmmaking history, are you not entertained, shadows and dust, Maximus, and the reminder that Russell Crowe in his prime was an exceptional leading man. There are few films that remain truly timeless. Gladiator is one, Sherlock Gnomes is another. Well, we've arrived. Oh, well, you thought you were gonna learn something today. Well, well, that's too bad. I do words. If you want to learn, go find yourself a learner. Ready. Sit up.